緊急事態発生拓也船内空気が流出しています A ブロックの機密ドアを閉鎖しますその船は落下軌道に入ったそんな Welcome back to Hobby Bolt. My name is Skylar, and today is Mobile Suit Miss Day 22. What you just saw was a myth. Green Divers was a CGI animation side story that was developed specifically for a Japanese IMAX theater to be seen on three separate screens. I'll input a picture right here. It was 24 minutes long. It came out in 2001. It was an exclusive event, and the footage really can't be found anywhere. It's almost as if, you know, 2001, no one was absolutely thinking about ripping it or that it would be so popular that you'd be able to find it. The closest that I've been able to find is something off of a Chinese forum. Where someone got video cam footage of it, but that's it. But why is it so special? What is so special about Green Divers? Green Divers followed two kids when they're in the middle of a conflict between the Anti Earth Federation and the Titans. They are caught in between as they're trying to go home, and they are saved by none other than. The white unicorn himself, Amuro Ray. Now, they do not know that it's Amuro Ray. They just know that he sounds like him. And that's pretty much alluded throughout the entire conflict until he saves the day and the movie ends. 24 short, quick little minutes. Now, That Zeta Custom has seen a couple of iterations of Suit, and it is my white whale. Why is it my white whale? Well, let us start. Let us start on this journey. I have always wanted the kit, first and foremost. In August, I made a video about the Gundam Expo in which this special Zeta 3 got a remake in an HG version. Now, <laughs> Very, very unfortunately so, my Gundams got caught here in my state and they disappeared. The box disappeared. I don't want to assume somebody took it or stole it, but it's gone. It's gone and I got my money back and that's pretty much it. And I was never able to recover those suits. That includes that, that horror ball that I really wanted and it includes the injection machine, it includes the new that I really wanted, and it includes this Zeta. <sighs> So, enough of the sad story, but it just further reiterates that this Zeta is my white whale, the one elusive kit that I cannot get my hands on that I want. I know what you guys are saying, so I can probably get a hold of the HG. I'm sure someone has it. I can probably get a hold of the RG. The RG came out and it might be right up my alley because it comes in clear parts and just a regular. But real grades are not some of my favorite grades to build for、uh, any number of reasons. But my favorite grade to build is an MG. And there is one MG that has existed for quite a few years now that I want more than anything. Here's some pictures of it right here. Just marvel at how beautiful this thing is. What I have heard about it though, for the people who have built it, is that it's not a very good build. It's kind of cheap, it's full of stickers. That's what I've heard, and that's kind of disappointing, but I wanted to get it and I wanted to custom paint it. Now I know I can do it to a regular Zeta, and that might be what I end up doing. But for now, I want this kit. It's just so overpriced. It's like $144 for an MG, and for as old as it is, I can't justify it. So Right now, she is my white whale. I'm sure one day it'll appear on my hobby town shelf or something. It'll happen somehow. Somehow it will be in my hands and I will build it. And when that day comes, it's gonna be on display like right up front. <laughs> But yes, I just wanted to talk about the myth that is Green Divers because it is something that's special and it's something that seems to be elusive for everyone in the community. You can go anywhere to any kind of forum and people are asking to find it because they want to go in chronological order to make sure that they watch all of the Gundams in order. But you can't find it. It exists, but you can't find it. And that probably has something to do with the fact that it was made exclusively for an IMAX theater and like who's, who just ripped that? But maybe one day. It'll come to light, and maybe one day we'll see it. Maybe one day someone's just gonna upload it to the internet and we can actually see it. But for now, we just have the trailer. If you guys get your hands on it though, like, like send it my way because I just want to watch it. Like, I just, I just want to watch it. But yes, anyways, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much. Let me know what your white whale gunpla is. I want to know because I know there's quite a few kits out there that are just elusive, harder to find. The Sazabi is one, the Psycho Zaku is another one that some people can't end up finding. Even the Mega Size that I love so much are kind of hard to find. So, 
what is your white whale gunpla that you want more than anything, but you either haven't been able to get it or haven't been able to find it? That I want to know. Leave that down in the comment section below. I will see you guys tomorrow for Mobile Suit Miss Day 23. And thank you as always for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Obsession! Obsession with that Zeta kit. Also, half of these guys are half finished. I need to finish these. It's one of those things that I just love so much that I want to give all my undivided attention to, and that's why they're just sitting half finished because I want to appreciate them all in their beauty and their wonder and their magnificentness. White whale, white unicorn. Maybe it was destined to be that way. Also, I really want a remake of the PG Zeta. I really want that. I want the old one, but I do want the remake of the new one. <gasps> do you guys have the PG Unleashed yet? Oh, I want to see that thing so bad. Oh. <sighs> Bye. <laughs> 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 そんな… <laughs>